Quick Score is the fastest and easiest way to automate your balance scorecard. I'm going to give you a quick demo of the software by showing you how three different types of people would use it. So if I were a typical employee, I would care a lot about this home section that you see when you first log in. I see I've got an alert here, a uh, total gross profit has taken a turn for the worse, and I can click on it to drill down, but I also see that I've got responsibilities over here. There are eight measures that I own, there are three measures that I'm responsible for updating, and I have two tasks that haven't been completed yet. So let's click on measures I own. This shows me all the measures I'm responsible for. Um, there are filters on the top. Here, for example, this is just the ones that are red right now. And let's go over to measure updates. These are the measures I'm responsible for updating. If the software isn't fully automated yet and pulling in all of the measure values from external data sources, I can manually update them here. So this is what I'll do every month. And that's it, I've updated my measure values. So that's if I'm a typical employee. I'll spend a lot of time in the home section just keeping an eye on the things that I'm responsible for. Another type of person who'd use QuickScore is a high level executive. They'd spend a lot of time in the bookmark section where they'd log in in the morning and they'd click around to see their big picture corporate performance. Uh, here's a strategy map. You can see that improved profitability is yellow and decreasing right now. Here's a sales pipeline dashboard. Add clicks, go to leads, go to new trials, go to new customers. Uh, right now, new trials isn't doing so hot. You can click see its performance over time. And here's a customer satisfaction dashboard. We've got a customer satisfaction survey trending downwards and customer churn is kind of holding steady but slightly going up right now. They might click to a, a red measures uh, report where you can see all the red measures in the software or a downward trending measures report where you can see all of the measures that are doing worse this month than they were last month. And finally, you can track initiatives. So here's an example, migrate servers to the cloud initiative. Uh, we've got some pretty good uh, predictive algorithms for our initiatives. And right now we're predicting that this one's gonna be 21 days late, but slightly under budget. And if you scroll down, you can see just like everything else in QuickScore, how something is performing over time. So that's the high level executive. They're gonna spend some time every morning clicking around in their bookmark section, just getting a feel for the overall corporate performance. And then they're gonna move on with their day. A third type of person who'd use QuickScore is the power user. Rather than clicking through bookmarks, they're gonna actually dig into the application and visit individual sections. So when we click scorecards here, we now choose an organization. So we're gonna choose the Mobile World Incorporated root organization. And it's gonna show that organization's balance scorecard. Here's our four perspectives. You can click on them to expand. Here's objectives underneath each perspective. And then you can see the measures underneath each objective. Here's the increased revenue measures. There's product revenue, training revenue, etc. And if you wanna see other organizations balance scorecards, you can change the organization selector over here. Another section is initiatives. Uh, we've seen this migrate servers to the cloud before. Here's another one, build a search engine optimization capability. You can see its performance over time. You can click through and see related objectives. See it jumps us back into the scorecard section to see its performance over time. You can go back and forth. And last under data is documents. You can upload supporting documents for measures, for objectives, for whatever, and link it within the software. All right, let's go up the stack a little bit to strategy maps. Here's the organization strategy map. You can see its performance over time. The little arrow in the corner shows its trend. So improved profitability is trending downwards right now. And here's dashboards. Uh, this is a key measure history dashboard, effects of IT initiatives we're tracking initiatives and measures on the same dashboards to see if one affects the other. Here's charts and reports. Uh, we've seen the red measures thing bookmarked before, but here's another one. It's marketing overview. It's gonna show marketing measures over time. And finally, briefings. This is a lot like PowerPoint. Uh, we'll start it, but instead of showing just a static data, we're gonna see performance over time. So you can click forwards and backwards and see how performance changes. When we go to the next slide, here's the key measure history. Sales pipeline's the next slide, and you can just keep clicking through like a normal presentation. If you wanna drill down on anything to see what's going on behind the scenes, you just click on it, and it's gonna pause your presentation, and you can see performance and 
and click around and use the software to actually see what's powering the colors on your briefing. And then when you want to return to it, you just click the link in the upper left hand corner and you resume your presentation right where you were. So that's QuickScore in a nutshell. It's software that helps you automate your balanced scorecard so everyone in your organization will be on the same page.